chicks wasted salsa. Look at this thing tastes. Oh, what's good, my guy? What's going on, brother? What up? What's up, boy? Two? What'd you do for a gold? Look at you. you know what I'm That's yeah. real gold. It look heavy. You know what I'm saying? A little chicken. My man. You know uh, you're going to have to pay for that after. Yes. Yeah. You know what? You want to do an interview in exchange for the drink? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Number one show of late night, nothing but illustrious guest Miro, who is in the building tonight. Oh, just, you know what I'm saying, uh, comedy legend, you know what I'm saying, member of the illustrious Wayans family. Marlon Wayans in the house, y'all mm -hmm. make some motherfucking mm -hmm. noise. My you know God. You know the vibe. Not even comedy legend anymore. Thespian. Yes. All right? I ain't no thespian. I'm just... Nah, you a thespian because like, yo, bro. This is happy not to see me as a little person or a white woman <laughs> or <laughs> fucking a doll. Like, no. it's just... <laughs> And it's just good to see me like, oh, a black guy, Afro, and he's actually delivering lines no, and but feeling something. They say you ate it up, bro. You killed it. And also, it's also the way you're talking about it because you're playing Ted White. Ted White. And he's abusive, but you didn't, like, portray him as a monster. No. Nah, like, you showed there's nuance to it. Because I, a lot of times we have to look at women in these situations or people in abusive situations and understand that it's unsympathetic for us to be like, Girl, you should just leave, leave him. Right. It's not that easy. You didn't watch this woman fall in love with this man. But I think it's important that you show a complex character and not just, you know, one-dimensional, bitch, I beat your ass, because right. that's just not how it goes. The thespian shit for me came out, because, like, we all knew... Requiem. You know, it was, yeah, exactly. You beat me to it. Like, and I saw that, and I was just like, bro, this is... This motherfucker can act, bro. When I first started Requiem, Dan Aronofsky was like, you know, understand, I had Wayne's Brothers on the, on the air, and he was like, I don't know if I want somebody on a frog network in my hardcore drama <laughs> about some junkies. And so I had to audition five, six times. But see, even before this, I went to performing arts high school. Mm -hmm. I, I was in many dramatic plays. I was raised as a dramatic actor. Mm -hmm. I just so happened to be born in a funny fucking family. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's where I've always been in contrast. But now I realize... I could do it all. So what am I I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it all. Now I'm maturing. For a while I couldn't play like leading man because nigga, I couldn't even grow hair on my face. Right. <laughs> I, I I just got hair on my balls like seven years ago. Nah. So you can't be leading man. It's showtime, so let's see what you're working with. You, like is it trim now? Like Is it me or you got weird? <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, bro. All right. You get, you get weird? <laughs> That? You know what it is? We got passed up for the Emmy, so we going hard. Yeah, oh, going they passed. Hard. Maybe that's they why. For those questions you like know, that, like, you know hey, let me see your balls. I, I don't want to be. I might have been on the board, like. Mm. I think it might be racist. I think it might be racist. That's why we got racist. stopped. They don't want to see black balls on the on the air, my brother. But if they were white balls, open your third If they were pink balls, if they were pink balls, it'd be okay. Black balls matter, bro. Yeah, black balls do matter. You know the always. What else you got going on? You got the you got the got comedy this, joint. The, I got the comedy special coming out August nineteenth. Mm -hmm. You know what it HBO is? HBO Max. HBO Max. I, like in my stand up, right? I talk about my greatest fear, right? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be weird. To, like I, I tell the audience, it's be weird for white folks because you're not gonna understand it. Right. My greatest fear is niggas with Audi belly buttons. <laughs> Cause there's some evil about niggas without his belly buttons. Like, I, they did. They up to no good. They up to no good. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah, even no, when you was a kid, yeah. like it was one kid in my block, and I remember his mother put a quarter on his stomach. Make sure niggas go down. <laughs> Look at what are you doing? What are you, what are you a penny loafer? Like you walking around like that? Bro, and why they always got no shirt on? It's like they want to show you. And they be you. buff, nigga. Uh -huh. They be buffing like baby Yo, what's up? Buff. <laughs> Damn, bro, we 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 so proud of you, dog. I'm proud of y'all, man. We come up together, man. It's like this shit is. Our best years are ahead of us, man. Keep yes. grinding, keep doing it. We're gonna get y'all out of bo a bodega. We're gonna get you a real <laughs> set sooner or later. <laughs> you know what it is? Cause we thought we were interviewing with, you know, white chicks Marlon. I know we was getting like. I thought y'all stepped Marlon. your game up for we the first did. time. I was your You remember the I first time? I was y'all first guest you ever. ever. Yeah, I was, the you first time I was like, these niggas is annoying, but, <laughs> but I had so much fun. Wow. And then I was like. I thought you stepped your game. I was like, yo, I was proud of y'all. I was like, yo, they on Showtime now. These niggas are getting budgets. I, remember... I come here and you niggas is in a bodega <laughs> with bacalao <laughs> in the sneakers. Bro, you <laughs> walked into the <laughs> set at Complex. Roaches and, and we were and, mad and amped. We were super amped. We were like, yo, we interviewed them all the way. Yo, you lit. walked in, you was like, yo, I'm mad tired. Let's yo, I'm mad tired. Let's get this <laughs> shit done, like, bro. Yeah. I was like, yo, I was like, fuck this 
stripper. <laughs> Then you went to change, you went to change some shit. We like, this nigga got clothes? Oh, this nigga got clothes. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, this nigga. Oh, oh, like, oh, rob this nigga. Dude, you know what? I got, coca- I got cocaine in my boat right now. Because <laughs> <show. laughs> they wasn't paying us or nothing on that show. They was like, all right, good luck getting home, niggas. Yo. <laughs> I was like, can we get a Metro car and shit? We just go. I was like, yo, fuck it. Yeah, but I, I knew y'all was going to be all right. Y'all were funny. Y'all, it was fun. There was a lot of fun. You know out. what? That was like one of the first. That was one of the times. I was, was like, Yo, I we was could do this. Fir- I think I was your first. You were our little first. guest. Little first bro, guest. You remember we got we took the like we took the pictures. They were blurry, but you couldn't tell the shit after that, bro. And then I did the I'm, second interview, mm-hmm. and y'all had a bear. In That's yeah. right. And, and that was what was that? Was that was uh, that's when ne- I. Cooper Gooden Jr. No, it was a uh, Tay Diggs. Oh, Tay Diggs. I get those two niggas confused. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> you know, they're the same. They got the same energy. It, because black guys, they get white guy wasted. They're like, yo, I'm scared of them. I'm scared of you, I'm niggas. scared of them. Yo, you scary. They, you, uh, you're yo, different. I, you don't I'm, know how to. Yeah. Shout out yeah, to Tay yeah. Diggs. Yeah. What did we see? Was it at the TCAs? Yes. Because we, we, we were nominated. We lost. We was like, fuck it. We were going to Loading Docks. We were smoking a wild L. <laughs> We like, yo, we be smoking. We smoked. It was like, you can't smoke here. It was like, yeah, whatever. And Tay Diggs come through with the fedora on. He's like, yo, y'all smoke good. Yeah. Smells good. Yo, fam, nah, you not lying. Because oh, there's man. a certain level of wastedness. <laughs> Niggas that get white boy wasted grew up around white people. Mm-hmm. So they The worst that's going to happen is they white your face and they don't stand. Nigga, you a new You can't be doing Yes. Man, like, I, I hear a nigga do that, I'm out. He's like, nah, nah. <laughs> nah. Like, he don't get a shot. OK? <laughs> he don't get a shot. I ain't saying. There's a difference when you get a little tipsy. You be like, yeah, I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling nice. Bro, like, let's oh, fucking yeah. go! Go, bro! Woo! Woo! Means you do powder. Yes. <laughs> you definitely sniff shit up your nose. Holy shit, Marlon fucking wait! Let's Whoa. fucking go! Marlon! 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 Do a bump with me, bro. bro. Let's do a bump. Bro, don't disrespect. But would you do a bump with me in the bathroom, bro? Go. I fucking love you, bro. I love your shit, bro. Bro, I love your shit. Straight up the toilet seat. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. 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 fuck. Dude, it's clean. Yeah. Fucking toilet seat? Bro, this is fucking clean. Straight. Bro, this shit is straight from Sinaloa, bro. Fine, bro. <laughs> Listen. Shout out to our guy, Marlon Wayne's legend. Everyone that comes on our show is an illustrious yes. guest. What would you like your bodega son to say? Marlon Wayne's. Real nigga, fake gold. <laughs> yeah, your third eye, you know all the vibes. And then, listen, if you got an Audi, don't fuck with him. Mm-mm. Nah, I fuck with you, but just keep moving. Don't show me. <laughs> Give me the willies. <laughs> <laughs> just tap him up and keep him moving. By the way, it's in the belly, yo. <laughs>